Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Reviews, 90 Proof Bourbon Blind Battle, the finale. Just a recap of what we're looking at here. We'll start with the Kentucky non-finished Eagle Rare, winner of round two. We have Jefferson's Ocean Age Voyage 16, winner from round three. We have Jefferson's Ocean Age Voyage 25, winner of round four. Into the finished Washington category, we have round five's winner, Woodenville. This is their port finished. And then winner, winner from round one, we have Doc Swenson's. This is their uh, sherry finish. So my wife has poured all these for me. I've got my water. And since I'm taking this serious, my saltines will go through these blind and rank them. I have predicted a winner. Um, we'll see if I end up getting it right or not. But let's give these all a go. Okay, after much deliberation there, <clears throat> that was uh, very tough, not quite as easy as I thought it could be. The top three here are basically 1A, 1B, and 1C, uh, but all were uh, pretty darn good there. So, let's get to the results. In last place, we have glass number three, which I described as sweet oak, honeysuckle on the nose, but on the taste, a little bit of bitter oak, but some general sweetness in there. Number three is the wooden, sorry, number five is the uh, fifth place, class three, the wooden bill. Didn't pick up as much on the, uh, the finish as I would have thought. <clears throat> Coming in fourth place, we have glass number two, described as brulee peach jam, a little bit of oak on the taste. And the one I kind of thought might win it is Doc Swinson's. The sherry finish. So Washington, you have been eliminated. <clears throat> Coming in third place, and again this was really kind of a toss-up. Um, whoa, hi Frank. Yep, coming in for the podium here. So glass number one, sweet grass, a little bit of plum, um, caramel vanilla. That is Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 25. In second place, we have glass number five. Pardon me here. Caramel cream, sweet vanilla on the taste, little bits of oak. Let's see, and I said that was number five. Coming in second place, we have Eagle Rare, which means that, obviously, process of elimination, glass number four, described as vanilla frosting oak, general caramel sweetness on the taste, we have Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 16. Perfectly fine with that. That is the whiskey that made me fall in love with whiskeys. Happy Eagle Rare is in a close second place as it was uh, the whiskey that made me want to do this whole 90 proof line battle. So there you have my top uh, five whiskeys of the 90 proofs that I own. So tell me in the comments below what are your, some of your favorite 90 proof whiskeys. Until I see you again, until friggin' I see you again, cheers.